All right, so Ivana and I are really excited to be going to China today for our first time. We've just recently heard about this new option that China is offering, which is a 144 hour transit only visa free one city only trip, which is a long way of saying six days in Shanghai. So come along with us as we uh, check out Shanghai for about a week. Let's go. Maximum is seven kilometers. I tell you what, great start to our journey. The lovely lady at the counter let us fly with five kilograms overweight. Oh, lucky us. Lucky us. Good start to our journey. Yes. All right. <laughs> Listen, it's 2 a.m. and we're both about to fall asleep. So. I'm not asleep yet. I'm almost asleep though. <laughs> We're like one of the first people to get out. I'm gonna be asleep. Okay. I'm gonna be asleep before we taxi. <laughs> I'm out. Alright, night night Steve. Yeah. When you wake up, we'll be in China. It's cold. We're in China. Touchdown, Shanghai. It's a little bit cold, maybe 15 degrees. Yeah. We're okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Foreigner fingerprint collection area. Right here. Oh. I think we're gonna give our fingerprints to the machine. Yes, fingerprints. Passport and fingerprints collection. Please take your passport. Please put your four right hand fingerprints. Please put your two thumb thing. And we're going to the 144 hour transit area, I think. Let's go. Oh, right there. I see. Transit visa. All right, so we've got to fill out a couple forms here. There isn't really anybody around telling us what to do, but the signs are written in English and they're pretty clear. So we're just following 144 hour transit area. Science and the lovely Ivana is doing some paperwork for us. Good job, Ivana. We made, made it. it. Made, made it. it to China. I can't believe it. It I'm feels so exciting. So excited. Yeah. It feels kind of. It's cold outside. Maybe we'll put some pants on. Oh yeah. And we'll get on the metro and go check out our accommodation. Yeah, it will be Before cold eating out. Eating some Chinese food. Mmm. Let's go. <laughs> excited. Woohoo! Here's the metro. We'll go by some tickets not sure how we do it let's ask thank you okay wanna union pay or banknote i think we need cash because i don't think we have china union pay yeah so we need to get banknote Let's find some and then cash. we would go like line two and go like this. Ah, to People's Square. Oh. There you go, oh. People's Square. Two, two tickets. 14 one. Okay. Alright, we don't have any of these, so. So we gotta get some cash. Yeah. Darn. I sort of expected China to be totally cashless, like the future, no? Everything credit card right. touch payment but so the first thing was cash Still only cash. no problem we did find a currency exchange hello we have some malaysian ring it sorry malaysian ring it can train malaysian ring it oh yeah yeah this is our Malaysian ring okay yeah okay just 200 ring it so on Google it's 1.5 and the money exchanger it's 1.19. You're on debit service here. May I have a passport? Passport? Okay. Got some Chinese yuan. Good. Let's go. Okay, so there's someone here wants Chinese money for the first time in your life. Oh. This is 100. It's quite big, isn't it? Which is almost the same value as ringgit. Oh. So we gave 200 ringgit, we got 240 yuan. Okay. Similar value. Uh, and I guess the smaller this. The smaller the amount, the smaller the note. 
You see how it goes smaller and smaller? Oh yeah, that's right. Cool. Cool. Okay, let's go take a train. Let's go. Okay. Take two. You want to go to line two? Yes. You want to go to People Square? Yeah. Two people? Okay. 14-1. Enter a banknote. Oh no, it's not. It's not over here. Oh, you can't use cash. It's only China Pay. Union Pay. How about this one? Like I hit the like I hit the jackpot, the slot machine. So we got these guys. Single journey ticket. Nice. Very cool. Well, let's go down. Should be here, no? Yeah, here. Can you go security? Okay. Okay, so security was easy enough, and I think I learned my first Chinese word. Everybody was saying Shenzhen. Huh, what does that mean? I don't know, that must mean welcome or hello or something. Oh, good. Everybody was saying Shenzhen. Hey. All right, so here is the Shanghai Metro map. We're trying to go on line two, which is this kind of green one through the middle, going horizontal. And we're trying to go to People's... People's Square. Where is it? There. Right there. Found it. Now, the important thing to remember is this map services all of Shanghai. And if you include the metropolitan region, okay, the population of Shanghai is as big as Canada. Like 40 million, 39 and change. Wow. So it looks impressive, but it is moving a lot of people lot every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It does look impressive. It does look impressive, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, here's good. Ivana. Line two to Midtown. Set. It's fine to sit. Yes, we are the last one. Two. Here. Uh, Blue and red lines. Can you go? Uh, this one. So we can get comfy and chill out. We might be yeah. an hour on this ride. Yeah. Right now. Let's find a seat. Let's chill out. By the way, it looks very nice, very clean. I love the color, green and yellow. clean enough where people were actually sitting on the floor so overall it was a good first impression of Shanghai but what I can tell you is Shanghai's metro here is clearly light years ahead of the one in Toronto because it's clean and it's quiet and it looks like it's been uh, organized and maintained a lot better than the one in uh, my city so anyway let's get up to the ground upstairs and let's get outside and so we are looking for exit 19 
which I guess indicates that right now there are a lot of ways to walk. And there should be a pretty elaborate maze of tunnels down here because I guess there are 19 exits or at least 19 exits. Excuse me. I look for exit 19. Go straight ahead and near right, go up. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, very helpful. Exit 2. Exit 5 and 19. Got it. And I tell you what Ivana noticed. The fashion sense of the people here is very familiar and almost the same as what we have in Toronto. Maybe we might wear this style of winter clothes like a month earlier because they were a little colder, but uh, the outfits are the same as if you walk through Toronto or somewhere. And so I'm led to believe, although I'm not even sure, but I think this is all still underground. Yeah, I think those are windows up there in the top corner. I think we're still underground. But a huge, almost like a city beneath the city, no? Okay, let's see if we do this right. Insert, insert. Because it's going to not give it back. Oh, yeah. All right, it's time for our first eyes on Shanghai. City Walk 1.0. <laughs> Here we are. Come out right in front of this huge building, which I guess is, looks like a mall. This it is called New World Emporium. I'm so excited to be in Shanghai. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here. So cool. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. All right, let's, uh, let's find our accommodation. Oh, there's a bus tour, Steve. Cool. Might be better than the one in KL. <gasps> wow. So impressive. Everything is so new. Look at this. So pretty. Wow. The feeling I'm having now is similar to the feeling when we started traveling. Right. And I was amazed by everything. That's so curious. <laughs> it's a real so shame we only got 144 hours. But I think every minute we're going to be busy. I think so. To be honest, I just fell asleep on the train on the way here. But I'm going to get coffee and keep going. Okay. I cannot rest. Cannot I rest. Must explore. I only, Must got, explore. I only got two hours of sleep. On a plane. On a plane. It's not the best. We'll make it through the day what because time we are now? jet lag warriors. Jet lag warriors. Uh, I think it's like 8. It's 8 a.m. Yeah. Ready to rock. Full okay. day. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't believe we're here. To be honest, I was a little bit nervous if we were gonna get in because I heard online that if you have a Turkish stamp, they might reject you. But I'm so glad that we're here. Look at this. And so I tell you what, this is sort of what I expected when I thought of Shanghai. If you look around, it's really, really clean. All the tiles are looking brand new. Nothing is cracked. All the bushes are perfectly trimmed and maintained. We've got a bunch of shopping, tons of people around, and everybody's sort of moving around quietly and organized. And uh, I'm walking around with a big smile on my face. This is sort of what I expected, and it is not disappointing. <laughs> Wow, I never thought I'd be walking down the streets of China. <laughs> it's cool to be here, man. What a feeling. Oh, and if we hang a left, we're going to leave and go to more. That's like a more residential area. Oh, that'll be fun to explore. OK, first things first, let's find our accommodation. Down there looks interesting, though. Yeah. I'm excited. Is there English? Oh, there is English. Very nice. Sauce like muffin, same like it. Oh, they got boo boo. Congee. Oh. oh, I might have congee for breakfast. You have some congee, Vana. That's going to be nice. good. Scrambled egg burger. Oh. No, this is more like wraps. German. Oh, yeah. Interesting. There's a can of bread, but I'm not gonna go for the German. <laughs> okay, so let's order latte McDonald's. first. I really need latte. Yeah. Or cappuccino. I think 90s means latte. Look, it looks like coffee, no? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. 
think so. Okay, select that one for me. Two two nineties. You want a large ninety? Sure. Two large nineties. Hot. Yeah. Definitely hot. More milky and stronger than a regular latte. Okay, get it. Maybe get a small then. Small. Okay, good. Too small. <laughs> oh, I can't pay for this. No cash. Yeah, I can't pay. Wait. Hey, you, you got Alipay? Oh, no. I thought you can pay Visa. Oh, you can, can, can Visa. Phone pay on Visa with QR code. Scan the camera on your phone. Oh, yeah. Maybe you need to go to the counters too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The two of us working together, we can figure out how to get coffee from McDonald's. Let's see. Okay, how do you maybe can, you maybe can go maybe can go to the can go to the okay. cash. I got rumba. Here you go. Our first coffee in China. First coffee in China. Now, I wonder if this is typically Chinese or if this is just at McDonald's. It's called Nighty. Nighty. And we had to pay a lot extra ordering it from the counter. Yes. Bit of a scam. I got frustrated there. <laughs> <laughs> so, five dollars each, Canadian. Five Canadian each. It's pretty good actually. It's just like a latte. But it's wicked strong. Mm -hmm. It's like an espresso latte. Oh, it's good. Cheers. Oh, I love it. Hopefully, this will wake me up. Correction, my math was way off. I'm still learning. <laughs> 34 won uh -huh. makes six dollars and fifty cents Canadian. Six dollars. Uh, okay. More like five bucks American. All right. The price is kind of fair. All right. So it's about three dollars something Canadian. Three Canadian each. Uh, yeah. By the way, kind of nice, right? You finished already? Almost. It's very good. It's like an espresso latte. Is it better know. than in Canada? The coffee here? We don't have 90. Whatever that is. Yeah. I heard, uh, I read on the description in English that it's stronger than regular latte. It's stronger than latte. Yeah. It's nice. It's good. If you think we didn't get large, I would be vibrating. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So really, our next goal is to make it to our accommodation. But there's street food over here. Just, just check it out. Just give a quick check. Wow. Just give a quick check. Oh, you want to get this right now? It looks like, oh, that's chicken feet. Yo, if that was just chicken, I would get it right now. Chicken feet. Chicken. Oh, that was so close to going right in my mouth, Ivana, but I couldn't pull the trigger on it. This one is. What is this one? Candied strawberries and light cheese. Oh, that's one dessert. Okay, something new. Oh, it's good on a stick. Maybe it's good, Ivana. Yeah. Maybe it's good. But over here we have... Maybe it's beef. Oh, mutton. And pork. Pork. This one, pork. Twenty-five-one. Two, five. Ah, okay, one for me. I'm gonna get one. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't ask your permission because I just decided I had to do it. That's okay. It looks good. And he's cooking it in like a vertical. Ah, pork. Rotisserie kind of thing. Yeah, like a vertical rotisserie. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm loving this street already. Street food and a photo shoot right here. Twenty style. Ooh, yeah. Looks good. <laughs> With the props. Very nice. Wow. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is he off the bowl? Yeah, yeah. Can I go first? No, you here. It's like satay. <laughs> Good. Can't tell I burn my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> shake, 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 shake. 
Wow. Oh, it's good. Nice. It's good. The texture is great. I'm kind of wondering what pork it is. It's almost like a pork chop that he's kind of wrapped around there in some way. But it's stuck onto the pole so well, but it's not too fatty. It's quite nice. Good. And the flavor is like, uh, I'm not describe it. Chinese flavor. <laughs> Let me try. Sweet and sour. Oh, this is actually pretty big. It's good, right? It's pretty good, right? Mm. The meat is good. The, the, the crunch of the meat is just nice. Nicely cooked. Nicely cooked, yeah. Yeah, very good. A little bit spicy. Yeah. You can see it has sesame. It's got some sesame, it's got some chilies, it's got some kind of charcoal. Ginger, flavor. garlic, or whatever. Yeah. Very good. Typical good for Chinese spice. Food. I had to buy it. I mean, it's, this guy's got a, you know, 40 centimeters of pork on a stick. I gotta buy it. Pork Absolutely five stars. Do I look like a tourist or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's good though, so good. Mm, it's good. Oh, there's a cafe in here. Oh, photo booth. 90 style. Look at this. Very cool. Already, the two cars I've never seen in my life. In front of me here, clearly electric on the left side there, no grill. The brand is like an S, or the, hmm. the logo on the front is an S. It's a Chinese car, maybe. Maybe Chinese car, but clearly electric. Yeah. Also, you got this thing over here. Porsche. No, it's like a maple leaf on the front. <laughs> it's Porsche. It's called Maple. That car is called Maple. What? Did you see that? <laughs> the brand is called Maple, and there's a maple leaf on the front. <laughs> Your meat stick is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're almost there. Almost there. I think the next street, right, Steve? This car is everywhere. What car is it? I think it's a Chinese brand. It's it looks cool electric. though. It looks cool. It's gotta be electric. And on the back, it says build your dreams. Wow. I've seen like 10 of them. I've never even saw my whole life before today. Shanghai, man. This is exciting. Oh. At least they stop here. Not like in Vietnam. People hanging their clothes up there. Look at this local neighborhood slash shop, carpet shop, paint shop, and everything else in between. <laughs> wow. All right, so just like that, Ivana and I have become completely lost. And here's why. According to the real life signs we see in front of us, we are at the corner of Hubei and Zhuzhang Road. Zhuzhang is going this way and Ubei is going that way, right? Now, according to the map on our phone, we are at the corner of Lihu and Nuzhang, which is in fact nowhere near where we think we are because over here is Zhuzhang and Hubei, this corner here. Will we ever find our accommodation for today? So this is where we think we are in real life, way over here, see? Ubei and Zhuzhang, and yet this is where Google Maps is showing us we are. And with that in mind, we are lost. Let's wander some more. Find some more street food at the very least. Steve found another shop. I think he must be really hungry. Pizza? No. No. What do you call it? Pancake, I think. Chinese pancake. You can try Steve. Spicy. Uh, how much? <laughs> Hello. Ten. Ten. Okay. 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 <laughs> 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 no thank you. No thank you. No, 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 no. no drink. <laughs> okay. You said thank you with Shay Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So nice. Okay. Thank you. Shay
Shay Shay, uh, what is it? You said it's like a pancake. Yeah. Uh, let me get a more. <laughs> this is Keita cutting the bacon. Good? It's not what I expected at all. Oh, you know what? It looks like layers of roti chanai or paratha yes. or something. Yes. It's more like a roti chanai than it is a pizza. I thought it was like going to be like a dough. It's not really It's not really the bread of pizza. It's more like roti chanai. Oily mm -hmm. fried bread. Right. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. It is good. I love the sesame, sesame flavor in it. Very good. Your tomato flavor too. Yeah. Some A herbs? little bit, some sweetness too from, uh -huh. I don't know. Sweet and it's good though. I like it. Yeah, the texture is like roti tonight. Check this car, check this car. Another one you never saw. This is the Build Your Dreams car. Oh no, that's X-Pang. There's all these electric cars you've never heard of in your life. The future, Steve. Look, look, look. Avion again. Avion. Excuse me. Oh, the chili makes me sneeze. Oh, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Say, <laughs> say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. I know oh, now, because yeah. that's my dad's name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's actually kind of addictive. You can't stop. I love this street already. Lots of local flavors. Mm. I see like a shop there. Oh. It's like noodles or something. This is the good one. When you get it dark and soggy like that, so much flavor. I'll give it to you, Ivana. Mm, thank you. Look at this. Right versus this one here, look. Mm. This is the crust, not as good. See, see the color difference? <laughs> so good. Good. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good. I really could have never seen you live. Mm. Roll. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Oh, I see beef noodles right there, Steve. Why don't I do? At McDonald's, I wanted to go pee pee. But I couldn't read man or woman on that sign. I didn't want to walk in the wrong bathroom. And I got to be so bad right now. <laughs> okay, let's the go. The pressure is building around. We got to go out for our accommodation. Okay. Oh, Bye-bye. <laughs> so nice. Oh, my God. You guys can't believe what I just saw. Tim there Horton, is man. Tim Horton. <laughs> Not exactly called Tim Horton. It's called Tim Go. We found our room at day end. <laughs> Let's go check in. <laughs> to be honest, this is the cheapest spa place I found. Accommodation is not that cheap here in Shanghai. So yeah. Let's go up. I see a map there. Alright. So the check-in process has been complete. And we are going towards our room. This is a hotel, although it kind of functions like a hostel. There is a shared area downstairs that I can show you, as well as there are some shared rooms with shared bathrooms. But we've got a private room. Let's check it out. Dun, 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 dun. Small and simple and does the job. Bathroom over here. Bathroom actually looks quite good, to be honest. Brand new, really. And, uh... As long as there might be a desk for me to potentially do some work, not really. So I'll, I'll be working downstairs in that shared area. But this is good, Ivana. I can chill here. Yeah, good. Oh, I'm excited to be in China. Okay, guys. So, one, we get one free coffee or one free beer each. One free coffee or one free beer. Today might be the one day where I'll actually go for coffee. <laughs> All right, let's have our free coffee, then we'll hit the streets again. And so here's the lobby of our place. I will have to talk loudly as to override the copyright music. Huge area here to chill, and this is only half of it. This whole fridge over here has beers, and I'll give you one coffee and or one beer every day for free, as long as you uh, pay for the room. And then here's the back area here, which is no joke, pretty great, full of people bunch of laptops i'm sure a bunch of interesting tourists who are doing their thing and uh getting their work done as they're traveling around china so quick coffee break and then back into the streets
<laughs> I think they've turned an old phone booth into a Wi-Fi booth. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> oh, check it out. I think we've made it to what has to be the main strip here in Shanghai. The pathway is huge on both sides of me. The stores are incredibly lit up and very interesting. And the buildings above the stores, they look so imposing and so formidable. Like these big grand buildings kind of overlooking the walkway here. And people all around, not a piece of garbage in sight. I feel like I'm in a dream or something. I feel like I'm in a movie set or something. Exactly. Am I really walking down the street in Shanghai? Uh, something interesting is happening. So let's try to find some food maybe. It can be our first, uh, our first goal. Wow, something nice walking down here. What the future looks like in most countries. <laughs> Wow, look at the skyline here. Something about the lighting. I think it's like some haze, maybe some smog or something. Yeah. It doesn't look real. It looks like somebody painted it there. <laughs> it's so tripping me out. It's so interesting to look at. Ivana says it's like looking at the future. Wow. And stay tuned to our channel because in the coming days, we'll go inside this unique one. The bottom of it is a museum uh -huh. and up the top of it is a TV tower, something like this. So we'll go check out uh, the buildings on this side of the street in upcoming vlogs. But to stand here and admire is something, wow. <laughs> it doesn't even look real. <laughs> I tell you what, I can't believe how there's something like 40 million people in the metropolitan area around Shanghai, and yet it's not really crowded. <laughs> because right in front of us is this iconic shot of the incredible skyline which I think because the buildings over there are still in the sunlight whereas we're in the shade my eyes are having a hard time seeing it's like perfectly lit up the lighting is so trippy it's like a, it almost looks 2d like if I reach out and touch it would be a flat painting but my point is the uh, entire area here is Pretty well organized and pretty not crowded for a place of 40 million. It just sounds like so many people. I just, and, thought, I just thought it would be shoulder to shoulder everywhere you go. Yes, and I think most of them here are tourists. Oh yeah. Yes. This is like an iconic <laughs> tourist spot. This would be one of the first places you go, at least for us, almost the first place we went. Yes. And yeah, tons of space to go around. You can get a photo against the railing and there's nobody in your photo. Oh, it's uh, gorgeous. Oh my nice. God. Quite nice. Like what? I can't believe I'm here, you know? <laughs> so nice. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's eat. <laughs> and I tell you what, maybe one of the reasons it's so clean and safe and organized here, there are these poles with cameras on them all the way down. <laughs> There's dozens and dozens of cameras. You can see all the way down. It's just... Uh, Almost like a security camera. Almost like a camera that would capture you if you're speeding through a red light. And they're all the way down the whole walkway. Just kind of pointing everywhere. So I guess that uh, keeps crime low, all the cameras, no? <laughs> I'll tell you what, most people take photos on this side for this view, but I find that both sides of this boardwalk is equally as interesting. Wow, look at this. Very cool. Yeah, Ivana's right. Let's go a journey down here. Let's see if we can find a restaurant. I'm feeling like noodles, Ivana. Let's find a noodle shop. Noodle soup or something. Let's find it. <laughs> I tell you what, it's like I always say, the only bull Ivana takes is by the horns. <laughs> is it me or the buildings look bigger over here? They are so big. This is like huge, right? Ivana and I are guessing a lot of these buildings are going to be like the courthouse or like the central bank or like a lot of the old uh, sort of government buildings. They just look bigger than what we're familiar with. You know, they're just huge. They're so imposing as you walk down the street. <laughs> I tell you what, they say everything's bigger in Texas. I think everything's bigger in Shanghai, Ivana. Even bigger than Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess not only the cars, but also the scooters are quite often electric. You can hear them going past. They're silent and they're just sort of sneaking by and they seem to be 
four seasons here in Beijing because they've all got this uh, type of almost like a jacket that goes on the handlebars to cover your wrists and hands. And so I think they drive them all winter. I really can't say enough about the electric cars. It's uh, something totally new for me. One more thing we noticed is there's a lot of police around here. Yeah. Both walking the streets, patrolling the intersections, as well as in a little kiosk that you see behind oh, me. Yeah, that's it's right. almost like they're uh, protected from the rain and sort of on a platform. That's true. And just like an uh, outpost. Very nice. Train. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this city is so picturesque. Really? Like, what? It is so cool. All right, so our intention for today was to get some beef noodles. We think it's one, two, three, four, and even one over there, five. Which one should we go to? I mean, how would you decide which one has the best quality for the best value? How would we even begin to know? <laughs> I can't choose, you choose, Steve. Okay, we're gonna go for the one right in front of us. Ooh, it looks good on the TV there. Looks good on the TV there, let's try it out. Okay, Ivana, which one do you like here on the menu? The one with the thumbs up. The thumbs up is good. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Noodles. Beef noodle. Noodle? English? No. <laughs> Canada. Uh, how can we order this, Steve? Good question. Just one one and then see what. Noodle. Submit. What's noodle in the... You can't eat it. Okay. 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 So he ordered us the one on the menu that uh, has a thumbs up, and it's in a different color. It's the most common dish. I think it's beef noodle. Then he went over to the chili and said, "Do you want this?" We put a little bit. We're gonna see what happens here. Going with the flow. Oh, it looks good actually, but I'll tell you what, it looks spicy, no? Yeah. Go ahead, Ivan. You're first. You first? Yeah, please. There's so much stuff in it. It almost looks like chili. I think so. Lots of chili oil. Yours is coming. Ah, uh, thank you. I think it has some kind of beans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's beans in it, peanuts, almost like a little corn thing on top. It's almost like Mexican chili, no? Noodles. Mm -hmm. It looks good though. With lots of cilantro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a difference from uh, Vietnamese bow, for sure. Oh, look at this. Oh, it looks good, no? Yeah, it smells good. Let me just try if it's too spicy because it looks like oh. red. It looks like the whole sauce, so the red. chili is the base, you know? Good. Perfect. I think we did good, Ivana. Mm, the cilantro is so good. Mm. Good job choosing this place, Steve. It's so good. We did it, Ivana. We did it. It was meant to be. Mm. The peanut is crunchy. Good combination. And beef. Oh, yeah. This is good, Steve. Good choice. Good choice. I'm glad you Seriously, like it. This is. Six stars. Really? <laughs> it's perfect on a cold day too. Oh, that's good. So good. That means a lot because typically Ivana is a lot more judicial with the stars. I tend, I tend to give them out every yeah. month. But Ivana's six stars is like my seven. So this is a good sign. This is a very good sign, Ivana. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Love it. Mm. Okay, man. Let's eat. Let's eat. Nice flavor. <laughs> so good. Oh, very good. And yeah. the crunchy. You're right about the crunchy. Yeah. Good balance. Yeah, very Between good. the soft noodles and crunchiness and right level of spiciness for me. Good. And really tender beef. Very good. Mm. Mm, nice. <laughs> I don't even know what this dish is called, but it's good. <laughs> I walked up there and I said, Do you speak English? He said, No. And he pointed to the menu and we got it. Uh, Good job. Absolutely six stars. Nice. Right. In case you guys are wondering, we got this one with the thumbs up. What is this dish called? It's good, right? It gets spicier and spicier as it goes down though. <laughs> My mouth tingles a little bit now. My mouth is kind of numb. Yeah. Like, but it's like fresh. But it's not a. It's not even like a hot. It's like a numb. Right. 
Tingles. And my eyes are watering a bit. <laughs> Is the food yummy? Yes. Would I recommend it? I'm not sure. I would recommend it because it's so different. It's unique. It's so unique. It's not spicy. I would say it's not very spicy. No. But my whole face, like all over here, tingles. It's tingling. Right? Am my face turning red or something? No. My face is having like I can feel the blood flow <laughs> in it and it's and it's dotting across my face. Maybe it's good for your blood circulation. It might be good for diarrhea circulation tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I hope not. My mouth is not even, my lips are a bit hot, but it's not like a burning sensation yes. when you have too many chilies. But my face is tingling. Right. This is a, this I is mean, a mysterious thing. I mean, on the adventure. TV here, it's showing how they make it. Look at the chili base. Does chili that mean base. it's all chilies? Chili base. I wonder if this is going to be a disaster. Mm. It tastes good at least. But yeah, it is good. Look at the chili, guys. Look at the chili. Dry chili. I never had an experience like this. My face <laughs> is going numb. But it's good. <laughs> wow. Interesting. How to? How to? How to? Sorry. Can you pay? So see you. So see you. Forty six. Okay, she she. How to? How to? All right. So, in conclusion, China is a place for me that I think is the most intriguing country Ivana and I could possibly come to. Whether it's because of all of the Chinatowns we've been to, whether it's because Ivana herself is Chinese Indonesian, or growing up in Canada, I had so many Chinese friends because there are millions of Chinese people there, or whether it's because of what the media might say about big bad China. Sort of all of these factors come together, and I was so intrigued and interested in coming to China without even really knowing what I expected. And so I'm really glad that our first day in Shanghai was as interesting as I thought it would be. I guess I sort of expected it would be part like Tokyo, so amazing, and part like a Chinatown, where just people selling stuff everywhere and it's all kind of broken, but very, lots of character and very interesting. And so in the end, Shanghai did not disappoint. My no. excitement and my intrigue is still very high, and we've got lots more Shanghai vlogs coming. Yeah, it's so nothing, stay tuned to our channel. Nothing like I've ever seen before. Like this city, it's so unique. It seems very unique. Very unique on its own way. And we just saw like 1% of it. Yes, so exactly. lots more videos coming. <laughs> All right, there you have it, guys. I got to go home and drink lots of water. See if I can save my stomach. <laughs> cool. So nice over there. On that note, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.